What's going on everybody? Hope everyone's having a great day. I'm having a very rainy day, so I thought I'd pump out a few videos for you guys today. I've been away for a couple weeks and a few of you guys have emailed me saying, you know, where are you? I'll explain that and we'll get into the uh, episode that I'm doing today, which is the three most popular watches to me in my collection. The three I have worn the most over this year. So uh, if that interests you, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So where has my channel been? Well, uh, it's been sunny, it's been nice, and I've just been riding. You guys might be interested in that, you guys might not. I did start a new channel, which is going to go live when this video goes live, called Too Many Hobbies. We're going to talk about bikes, we're going to talk about aquariums, we're going to talk about everything I do, trail running, hiking, literally everything that doesn't fit into my other channel, that Speed 3 guy, I'll put a link below, and this channel, which... You don't need a link, you're already watching. I hope you'll check it out if that interests you at all. But today, I'm gonna do a follow-up to a video I did in 2019. It was my most and least worn watches of 2019. My favorite watches back in 2019 in my collection were my G-Shock Full Metal Square, my Bull of a Lunar Pilot version one, and my 351150 Reverse Panda Speedmaster Automatic Date. So flipping the camera around, you can see some things have changed, some things have stayed the same. I'll say honorable mention would be this uh, Casio G-Shock. I love this thing. Um, definitely, if we did a top five, this would be one of the ones in it. But we're not. We're doing a top three. So in no order on the table here we're going to get into my three most worn watches of 2020 and 2021 so far starting with this one this icon i think everyone deserves one of these it should be in just about everyone's collection this is the uh, seiko skx 007 fantastic watch this one on an uncle seiko uh rubber strap that i will put a link in the description i've changed to the original seiko buckle this one originally had a black buckle and it made me want to pvd the case something that i wasn't ready to do i probably will pick up another skx uh and pvd the case at some point this one was a gift from uh Scott over at Scott Keeps Time, uh, he sent this one to me. And, um, you know, I had been putting off getting a Seiko in my collection. Um, he felt like everyone needed a Seiko SKX. And so he sent me this one. And I have to agree, everyone does need an SKX in their collection, either the 007 or the 009, the uh, Pepsi colored bezel. One of the drawbacks of this watch, it uh, does not have manual winding, so you have to have to shake it to get it going. I haven't worn it in a few days because quite frankly, I've been wearing this watch, but this is probably consistently on my wrist more than any other watch aside from these two in my collection. I do wish it was manually winding, so I suppose that is one complaint. Uh, aside from that, no, no complaints at all. It's a day date. You can see the last date I wore it was not that long ago. You have your um, dive bezel for quick timing uh, and a very accurate automatic movement. So definitely my third most worn watch of the last couple of years. And uh, sort of a surprise because like I said, I had not purchased a Seiko and uh, at the time didn't know how much I would wear it, but wear it a ton, love it. So that leaves two others. Which one will be the most worn of the last two years? Well, uh, that may surprise you. And the next most worn watch in my collection is the 
Omega Speedmaster Mark II from 1971. This one on a Straps Co. Rally. I do have the original strap for this one. Uh, I do love it. And uh, I have zero, zero complaints on it. Um, this one I picked up from eBay, kind of on a whim. Again, this one is not wound. This is a manual wind watch that uh, needs to be wound really every day to keep winding. I have not worn this watch in a few days, uh, nor have I worn that watch in a few days because I've just been wearing the Bull of a Lunar Pilot Chronograph. Having said that, this would have to be my second most worn watch of the last couple of years. I picked it up literally just um, multiple months ago and uh, it's quickly become possibly my favorite watch, but at least one of my two or three favorite watches. I like that it has the moon watch dial, the 861 moon watch movement, but it has a beefier, more original case so it's a little more distinctive than your traditional Speedmaster. You don't see it on as many wrists. In fact, I very rarely see the Mark II on a wrist, but I do see the uh, Moonwatch, the Speedmaster uh, 861 on a lot of wrists. So I wanted to do something different. This one from 71, so you have your old case back that I actually need to wipe off. Your older screw on case back. Uh, you still have your chronograph function, so you do have timing functions just like you do uh, on the uh, SKX, and you'll see that as a theme. I like having the time. I like having a timing function. I don't really care much about the date, um, although it is handy. Having a chronograph, having a dive bezel, those are very important to me, and you'll see on all three, you have either or. This one, a brushed finish. Um, just just love it, zero complaints. Manually winding, it does need to be wound when you put it on pretty much every day to keep it uh, wound and keep it up to date. Love it on the rally, love it on the original strap. Just a great, great watch. And then lastly, the watch I've worn pretty much more than anything else in the collection is my Bulova Lunar Pilot Chronograph, the uh, version one model, this one with the date. I've contemplated getting the version two, the PVD with no date, or the version three, the polished with no date, but instead I ended up going with the uh, 50th anniversary titanium and gold uh, no date that it will be here in October. I'll do a full video on it once it gets here. I have this one with the original strap and case and everything. I actually picked it up off of Watch You Seek years and years ago. Uh, and I did a video on that. But this one I have on a Straps Co. Vintage Beads of Rice uh, bracelet. And I think it looks fantastic. I had it brushed to match the... Um, the um, Mark II, but in fact, I actually like it on this Bulova a lot better. Uh, the Bulova, it's a quartz watch. I think everyone needs a good quartz watch in their collection uh, because sometimes we're in a hurry and we don't have time to set and wind our watches. Sometimes we just need a good, uh, accurate watch to set our other watches with. Uh, and this works out very, very well. Now, I very rarely use the date, but I do use the timing function, the chronograph quite often um, for lunches, meetings, that sort of thing. And uh, a lot of people talk about the size of this watch. I actually really like the size, even though I wear mostly smaller watches, um, having a bigger watch on the wrist from time to time is really nice. I have a six and three quarter wrist. I think it fits excellently. Um, and it is one of the three most worn watches in my collection. But yeah, these are, these are the three I wear the most. If any of you guys are contemplating buying an SKX, a Speedmaster of any kind for that matter, or a Bull of a Lunar Pilot Chronograph, um, whatever your qualms about those watches, not having a hacking, manually winding movement, um, being an older watch, or 
having a quartz piece that's quite large, I would say do it. Get them. If you don't like them, you can unload them on eBay or what you seek or uh, another site of the sort. But these guys are fantastic. They're my favorite pieces. And uh, each one I had reserves about before I picked up. And I have zero reserves. They will always stay in my collection. Uh, and I think they should be in yours. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. But until then, guys, have a fantastic week. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye.